This is Ken Jobst with Inspirational Moments. Today we're going to be taking a look at the New Testament book of 1 Peter, and in particular, at some of the things that Peter describes as precious. As it turns out, precious is one of Peter's favorite words. Half of the times that the word appears in the New Testament, Peter is writing it. Here's what Peter says in 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 7. That the genuineness of your faith, being much more precious than gold, that perishes, though it is tested by the fire, may be found to praise, honor, and glory at the revelation of Jesus Christ. So, what do we mean when we call something precious? Generally, we think of an object that is, first of all, very valuable. And then secondly, it's something that should not be wasted. And third, a precious thing is something that should be handled very carefully, not recklessly. The first thing that Peter describes as precious occurs right here in verse 7, that genuine faith which is more precious than gold. I notice that Peter specifically says genuine faith because we need to be aware that there's such a thing as a counterfeit faith, just as there is fool's gold or iron pyrite. Genuine faith is more than just intellectual assent to a theological proposition. Genuine faith means really putting your trust and hope in God, understanding that God will make a way somehow, and that every day, all day, God is looking out for us and has our best in mind. Why is genuine faith more precious than gold? Because only genuine faith can get you through this life. Oh yes, and even though it's tested by the fire, and many of us are going through just that kind of testing right now, that it might be found to praise, honor, and glorify the Lord as the Lord is revealed to us. Watch this. Genuine praise has its roots in genuine faith. In a world that calls a lot of different things valuable, Hang on to your precious faith in Jesus Christ. With inspirational moments, this is Ken Jobst. God bless. Take care.